Hello and welcome to my workshop. In this video, I am going to be talking about another sticky mess. As you can see, I am hard at work making new product for the handmade market that's gonna happen on June 3rd and 4th. And I'm working on this beautiful piece of Kuliba. It has a nice, beautiful color as well as character. Uh, and also a little bit voids in the wood. And as we can see, we can basically stick a maple veneer in there. So I decided to do a resin casting and fill all the voids with black resin and that's gonna get me the maximum usage of the wood. And that's where disaster struck. So this is gonna be my attempt at analyzing what happened. And here is what happened. So I was using an old batch of my resin. So I had enough of part A, mixed my color. I didn't have enough of part B, so I used whatever I could from the old part B. And then I moved on to the bottle for the new part B, or what I thought was the new part B. Uh, so I mixed it up, put it in, 24 hours later I am uh, removing the, uh, the pressure pot, I'm removing the pieces of wood from the pressure pot, and this is what awaits me. I'm just gonna go a little like that, there. Sticky mess all around. So nothing has hardened, everything is still in its liquid state. And at that point, I had no idea what I did. So I slowly began to look back and I looked at the brand new bottles that I had and I think I have incorrectly used part A again. So my mixture had two times part A and just a fraction of part B. So the chemical reaction started but ended up going nowhere because those mixtures need to be done at a critical ratio of one to one by weight and everything was a sticky mess. So now at that point I thought okay I'm going to do another casting, I'm gonna do a little bit more of part B thinking that the chemical reaction from the new one is going to transfer over to whatever happened or whatever didn't happen at the uh, old one and basically harden everything. So I did it and uh, I was partially correct. So I got hardening of the brand new one, as we can see right here. Uh, I got the hardening of the new batch that I did, but because it was sitting on top of goopy mess uh, from the earlier, uh, it didn't stick to the wood. Uh, as you can see right here, I was able to remove the piece that was sitting basically on top of it, and I think I kind of threw it away. It was. Uh, and I couldn't, can't find it anymore in the bin, but I was able to uh, remove it. Or actually, I'm gonna show this piece right here. As you can see, I can remove pieces of the hardened uh, resin from the wood, and that's all because it was sitting on the goopy mess from the previous uh, failed casting. So, uh, at that point, basically I said, well, I can't deal with that anymore. Uh, I did one attempt to see if I can clean the wood from the goopiness. I inserted it in alcohol, but even that didn't do a thing. It's still sticky and messy. Uh, so a slice of this kuleba is now gone to garbage. Um, and, uh, <laughs> um, and that kind of that, that pains me a little bit because of the price of wood these days and everything was set to work properly, but then I made that mistake. So I'm kind of feeling a little bit uh, down because it was my mistake. So anyways, on the third time, well, they say third time's the charm, I got things to work. Now my gloves are kind of messy, so I am going to use a piece of a catalog to, to hold things together so that they don't transfer that messiness onto the new one. So here is a brand new casting batch. It's all perfect. So let's go to the bandsaw and see what it is.
I think these two pieces best represent the end product of the casting and that is filling up the voids that are in here. But don't take my word for it, let's take a look at those writing instruments that I did from Kuliba. like this video make sure to like share and subscribe and hit the notification bell to get notified of my future video releases also follow me on social media channels and consider supporting me on patreon all the links are down in the description and if you're in the neighborhood of the 13th street winery make sure to pass by and say hello